Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Peter Isesele and I have a very special guest with me today. Can you introduce yourself a little bit? Hello everyone, uh, my name is um, Mosje Paul Ibogun. You must have seen myself from the previous video. Yeah. Absolutely. So we're actually at the University of Alberta now. So yeah. he came from the University of, of Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan in Canada, in Saskatchewan yeah. as well. Yeah. So today we're going to be sharing graduate how, how, how is it like as a graduate student in canada either as a master's or as a phd student we've experienced both they were once a master's student you know i was once a master's student he's currently doing his phd i'm currently doing doing my phd so we have a lot to share so make sure you stick to the very end whether you are a prospective student you are already you know in your first semester or anytime you're watching this video is really going to be relevant for you uh it, you know depends on where you are in your graduate journey so let's just talk about some few things you know are you excited i am <laughs> <laughs> it's good I'm this, excited. this is going to be fun this is going to yeah. be fun we have so much to share with you yeah so let's start with uh, talking about our first semester like first semester. when we just arrived to canada like yeah. how was it like for you how did you feel <laughs> uh, it's like man yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 okay yeah yeah like um it was I was excited, really excited. Yeah. It was like my dream to actually school abroad. I'm doing masters and PhD or on the PhD program. So we both came in summer. Uh yeah, I, uh, I came spring. in yeah, I yeah, came spring, in May. Yeah. I came in May of 20, 2017, yeah. Yeah. So mm. when we resumed it was slightly different from the conventional resumption time. Yeah, yeah. Typically the resumption time is usually September. Mostly, mostly. Mostly programs, September. Yeah. Then for PhD sometime it's January. Yeah, mostly. Uh, but we resumed in um, spring. So yeah. <laughs> there was no classes no class going on. So just research. research straight research, into research. 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 So, uh, and one of the things when I came in 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 the, in, in the, uh, that um summer time I was like oh it's not really so busy like yeah, everywhere is so quiet, quiet yeah. like just imagine now this is we're, we're actually filming this video now in uh, august. august you know yeah. if this was september or january you know you would have been seeing like students moving up and down yeah. right so that's kind of the first thing you know in your first semester it depends on when you arrive you yeah. know whether you arrive if you arrive in september or january you're going to see lots of students and yeah. then you're just going to hit right through new classes you yeah know? classes and uh, yeah. we're actually going to talk about that and then and then um, when you come in the wind in the summer time it's pretty nice in the good weather mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. i came it was like four degrees yeah and then uh, was was pretty when i so i actually came in march i i was in toronto for a while i still spent one month in toronto um, then I moved to Saskatchewan mm -hmm. end of April, mm -hmm. so it was there around four degrees ish, and to me that was like ah this is cold. <laughs> Let me share something with you. Let me share something with you guys. <laughs> so my some of my, my my brother was telling me man Canada is cold. I was like okay. So when I go to Canada when I was in Toronto I was still at the airport. I like I called them was like Canada is not cold. I was still at the airport right. <laughs> <laughs> and then, when I got the new phone and I was like, oh man, I just got my seat, nah, 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 it's not cold. I was still inside the airport, I was like, it's not cold. The moment I stepped out, the first thing I said, I said, Kai, I don't enter. <laughs> I have arrived, you know, yeah. and and actually, I, I bought a jacket when I was coming. Mm -hmm. In my mind, man, this jacket is thick. <laughs> yeah, so, so my jacket I bought. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. jacket actually is like my spring jacket. Yeah, now, now yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's absolutely. Cannot hold, cannot hold the winter. Absolutely. So if you're coming during the winter semester, you have to make sure that you wear a very thick jacket, especially yeah. when you're coming to provinces that are really cold. Yeah, and, Saskatchewan, and, you Manitoba, know, Manitoba Alberta. Alberta. You know, you don't want to Just, come to minus. 20 minus 30 and is yeah. you're wearing something like this now this is this is for no. spring this is for spring jacket yeah. right yeah so that's actually one of the first thing let's talk about residence you know mm -hmm. uh, so when I, I actually booked my residence before like in nigeria yeah, before same. i left so yeah. when i came i came actually came around 2 a.m Oh, wow. And I'm going to share one for the experience. Please don't tell anybody. I beg you, the name of God. Don't tell anybody. This is just between me and you. Okay? Don't tell anybody that you watch this on my channel. When I when I got to my residence, I actually did not. So someone came to pick me, and then the person dropped me off. So I just picked my key, went in, went inside. I was like, oh, this is beautiful. 
I, I don't really understand the door system and how everything work, you know. Yeah. So my key was inside my room, you know, uh, with my phone. Okay, so I just put everything inside my room. I was like, man, let me just walk around and see the living room, you know, the kitchen, the, the washroom and everything. And then I just locked the door. <laughs> I, I knew I was going there. I didn't know. <laughs> I did not really know that that is actually like automatic lock. And then ah, when I got back, I was trying to open the door. Didn't know that I actually had to sleep on the couch till, really? till in the wow. morning because <laughs> it was summer. Mm. You know, my roommate was not around, so mm. there is no way for me to call like the re uh, what's it called? RA, uh, resident, resident assistant. Yeah. So I have to just sleep, you know, there till in the morning, right? Mm. Then in the morning, my uh, my roommate came in, right? Yeah. Very early in the morning. So when he came in, I was like, please, can you? Can you help me to call? Yeah. You know, and then I called the resident assistant and then he came and kind of explained the door to me. Yeah. You know, since that day, you know what I normally do? Even though I'm going to the washroom, I'm going to the kitchen. The first thing I take is my key. Yeah. I don't want to get <laughs> I don't want to let, get locked inside, you know. Yeah. So those are some of the I mean I never I never understood that that's how it is, right? So mm. that's my experience with the residents. <laughs> that's the story you share for, uh, for Please sure. don't tell anybody, okay? <laughs> it's just between me and you, yeah. Just between YouTube and Yeah, me. between you also the YouTube and yeah. How yeah. About, how was the residence experience? So I actually like? say my book my residence from Nigeria, then I had my school offers, I don't know if you still do it now. Back then they offer free um, pickup and oh, free okay. hotel first night hotel accommodation, the oh. International Student and Study Abroad Center, that's I call them ISAC. Unfortunately, I met a couple of people online. Um, I met someone online, Nigerian, who was, was doing his PhD in Asas, chemistry. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Oh, okay. So he offered to pick me up, so I did not use the um, pick up. Then Betari books the first night hotel accommodation. So when you book it, you have to use it. Mm -hmm. So he picked me up, then he drove me to his place. His wife made some very nice meals for us. Yeah, then yeah. he drove me to the hotel. Then I spent the first night in the hotel, um, just like reflecting, relaxing. Then the next morning, um, both of them came to pick me up. I spent like one week in one of their, one of their place before I then moved to um, residence. So we did like um, shopping at Walmart, we bought a bunch of things, you know, then I moved to residence. So I, uh, my residence was, um, we, I think there were six rooms in the apartment, so it was a shared space, then um, shared, um, Okay, you know something funny just happened now. So why in the middle of a, a video, someone just came and like, do you care for coffee? Free coffee. Like, Free coffee. So it's really now nice. we're gonna put my cream in there, and then we're gonna, you know, I mean, people are really nice right yeah. here, right? So that's also one of the reasons why you should, you know, make the effort to do your best. The education system is fantastic, you know. Yeah. People are generally nice, you know. So we have our free coffee. So. Let's continue our conversation. Let's talk about yeah. coffee, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I think the Let's next, go back the next coffee. one to talk okay. about is culture, right? Culture, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, big thing in Canada is coffee. Coffee is, oh, um, my goodness. One of the first things, it's almost like the way that you get mm -hmm. uh, the welcome, you get engrafted to the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get taken to Tim Hortons. Mm -hmm. um, there are different coffee. There yeah, is Tim double, Hortons, double. there is oh, Starbucks. Starbucks. Yeah. They are the most common. You know coffee shops yeah. there, there are other ones but then when you come in then you start hearing different kinds of things about coffee like double double yeah. cream milk sugar yeah. and you know it's and dark then, rose black dark rose rose, uh, it's yeah. you know if you like an average canadian like they drink coffee like you know when you come like in the morning there are people yeah. that before they start work the first thing they do is coffee and that's right? the, actually what i do now yeah, yeah when yeah, i come yeah. in the morning the first thing i do <laughs> is i have my coffee i have a coffee machine in my, yeah, in my house yeah yeah i get the coffee machine started like i wait let me back up it <laughs> i never made coffee in nigeria maybe once or twice i maybe, did do i even know what is coffee i had to read overnight or something and then i buy nescaf you know then put it in hot water yeah so, apart from that never made coffee in nigeria he, he, you see he's a big boy he used coffee to keep yourself away. My, I put my leg inside water. <laughs> I put my leg in water so that I don't fall asleep, right? So, I mean, the culture is, you know, it's very different. Like, you know, sometimes uh, when I just came in, you know, they, I saw some like white people and then they're just smiling with you and by the time you just tell me you are very new, I don't, 
I don't know about um, other provinces, but New Fana where I arrived, oh my goodness. Because they don't have a lot of international students, like they don't have a lot of, you know, international and many of them have not really traveled like to other countries. So mm -hmm. when you come to them, they are really so happy, you know, and even maybe things like during <clears throat> A Thanksgiving or Christmas yeah. holiday, you know, Thanksgiving is a big thing in Canada, yeah. it's a very big holiday, right? So you, you can see situations where when they pair international students with some Canadian families, yeah. because they know that we are international students, it's just you, no family members, yeah. um, they, they understand, right? Yeah. So they pair you with families and then during 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 the uh, Thanksgiving, you get to eat big turkey, yeah. you know. And let me tell you, my, my first Thanksgiving, I met. I so I, when I came, I will talk about community later. I got into a church I attend. Um, I go to I attend Fit Life Family Church. Shout out to them. Yeah. Um, so I met a lot of amazing people. You see, my church is mixed people from um, white people, African American, uh, black people, um, indigenous, um, just mixed people. Um, misculture in the church. So I met this Ghanaian family, they've been in Canada for like um, a while now, the Woods okay. family. Uh, shout out to the Woods family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the Woods family invited me for my first Thanksgiving. So she actually sent a song to people from residence then, then took me to their place and they had like this huge, and it was, it was still a bit African way of doing Thanksgiving. So I had jollof rice. Oh, nice. Um, I have nice. had that Thanksgiving. Okay, I had one. So yeah. Something similar to that. Okay. Jollof rice, turkey, everything. So it was really good. That was like my first Thanksgiving in Canada. I was um, at a, a family that invited me over because they realized that I was alone in Saskatchewan. I didn't really have any. I was going to just be in residence that day. I didn't have. As, that was my first year. I said then I didn't have any friends really yeah, or to stay, hang out with yeah, you know yeah, so they invited absolutely. me over to spend time at their place absolutely. for Thanksgiving. Absolutely. Yeah. You know it used to be like that when you're single, you know, just you go to lab, come back to your house, you know, it's it's very different, you know, when you get married, at least yeah. you have your wife to, you know, keep you company and, and all that. You know, one of the things I also wanted to want to add is ask questions, you know. Yeah. The culture is very different. Don't assume you know, don't assume that the way you used to, you know, for example, here, something something that I noticed very striking for me is that even someone that is like 70 years old, they just, you just call them by their first name and they are okay, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. They are okay. It's not out of disrespect, okay, to just call somebody by their first name. It's yeah. very normal to them, right? It's not yeah. out of disrespect, you know? Yeah. You know, when you just come in, I was trying to tell my prof, you know, ma or sa, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, <laughs> don't do all the math yeah. and all, all the math and sas and yeah. Even the profs want you. So when I met my prof, it's been a, even been a struggle with that. My prof will say, no, don't, don't call me doctor. This just call my first name. I'm like ah. Well, <laughs> where, where does the I, demarcation, the line come in? Yeah, you know, I, so. I, I I have struggled with that. Yeah, I still call him doctor. That's really with yeah. my my supervisor. She was like, oh, just call me, just call me by my first name, but. I like it's my training, right? Yeah. So if I mean it's okay, right? If you put doctor, it's, it's fine, you know. But things like sa, sa yeah, ma, ma you, know. you know, they don't yeah. they don't put all of those things. I've seen people send the emails to professor and they say their sa or their ma, you know, yeah. they don't really do small. Another thing, another thing when you talk about culture is the language. How did you cope with the language? You know. Um. Like, I mean, we, we from, I'm from Nigeria, so Nigeria is an English speaking, yeah, yeah. speaking country, I, and I think I do speak good English. I think the, only, the main challenge was more accent than English was. My English is good, it's clean, it's just my accent is different from the accent here. Very so, thick. Yeah. <laughs> when, so, just, when just come it's usually very thick, you know, they, yeah. know, they know that uh, this person is fresh, you know. So you have to speak, I, I learned to Over speak time. more slowly, at Over. least slowly and clearly, like mm -hmm. just to be, um, um, to be sure that one can get my sense and understand what I'm saying. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You know, that's one of the things I have to learn with my supervisor. I mean, if you are very lucky to have a supervisor that, you know, their language is really clear, mm -hmm. it makes it easier for you. But in the first one, two weeks, I had a bit of difficulty in communication because I was, you know, you are trying to match up with their speed mm -hmm. and then you start making mistakes, right? Yeah. So, like I almost said, you know, take it slowly. Yeah, you just know, be yourself. Just be yourself. Yeah. They understand. Be Don't yourself. Speak slowly yeah. and they will understand. You know, over time, you're just going to get used to it and then you begin to, I mean, you don't have to speak 
you know uh, like so fast and everything yeah. Your you whatever you're from, you know your culture is your culture, right? If you have that accent, it's your uniqueness. You don't you don't take that away, yeah. right? I, I'm not going to try to, you know, not speak with my African accent. You know, I try as possible to communicate like yeah. where in a way they understand, but that African accent is still there, right? Mm-hmm. So that actually, you know, is let, let's talk about. I mean, I think we've touched on community a, a little bit. Uh, uh, ha- uh, few, few I think for me, the us. biggest thing with community, I think, was one. Um, church okay. for me I'm a Christian so yeah. that was a big thing for me was that I had to find a church to attend so when I came in because it's different right yeah. I was in my room all the time in mm-hmm. residence not hanging out with people yeah. uh, there are a bunch of people in residence I knew a bunch of Nigerians a bunch of Nigerian friends I knew it's just there was this community kind of vibe missing. Was Chukun also in the residence? Oh, okay. Chukun was residence. I had another friend called Peter was in residence then. Okay, we used to all hang out. But I needed something you know different. I kind of, back in my undergrad, we go to campus fellowship. Yes, you finish vibrant, in, yeah, you man, finish from campus fellowship. There is the vibe. Then you yeah. hang out. So if your fellowship has a what do you call it then? You have a place they book for the executives, um, the campus quarters or so. Some, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Then you all go there, you know. So. So the first thing I went online for me and I was looking for a church close by and I found this church, Life Family Church, which I attend now. And I went there. So the first day I got there to my church, I was I had a bike, so I biked to church then. And I got to church and this guy came out from church was like, Hey, how you doing buddy? Nice weather today. I was like, Yeah, nice weather. He was like, Yeah, good to see you. Like but I don't really know you kind of thing because that's how it is, right? Yeah, People just yeah. say hi to you even though they don't know you. 